All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 17th of August. Finally getting the date right this week, but hey, when you're out of town on vacation, I mean, working in Washington, covering the wine auction out here, um, you know, who cares what day it is, really? I don't know. Hey, we've got a busy week for you next week. We've got four tastings. Wow, back to back Chilean tastings. We've got cooking classes and then a tasting. Hey, we're just doing because uh, we want to drink these wines. Syrah, Shiraz, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of uh, speculation as to where this grape came from. There's a book that I found at Darius Winery where I've been telling the story of where uh, this grape came from this province in Persia named Shiraz. And DNA testing found out just a few years ago, well, actually in 1999. God, I've been propagating this misinformation for this long. When in 1999 that they knew, uh, well, due to research, that this grape was actually a cross between two obscure grapes from uh, southeastern France, Doriza and Mondeuse Blanche. Who the hell's ever heard of either of those grapes? Well, supposedly they created Shiraz, Shiraz one of the greatest grapes in the world. There's not... A lot of grapes that can make world-class wine. We're talking about good wine, yes, but most people have heard of all the great varietals in the world, Shiraz, to me. Definitely being one of them, and that's why we're putting on this tasting, because we want to drink some of the world's greatest Shiraz. Let's see, where do they come from? Uh, well, northern uh, the Rhone, of course, Hermitage and Cote Roti, which we'll be showing great wines like Chapoutier and Gigal's wines, two of the top producers in these two regions. And then Australia, yes, the Shiraz grape varietal. Uh, they've got versions of Shiraz going back over a hundred years pre phylloxera uh, this is one of the few areas in the world where they haven't really had much phylloxera so you can find stuff on its own rootstock uh, very unique and then of course California we're going to have some John Alvin Shiraz uh, one of the greatest producers in California and let me hundred point scores he has gotten but uh, we are going to be showing some older vintages of these wines as well starting out with 2003 Alvin Riva Shav Offris this is not a, a state wine from him but it's one of his negotiant labels but still an excellent wine 03 a very hot vintage all over the world so these wines probably very evolved ready to drink a little old four colgan and colgan makes a little bit of Syrahs very expensive that's why we're going to open it up to see if it's worth all the hype Chapoutier Hermitage La Pavillon 93 uh, 95 Gigal Cote Roti Chateau d'Ampuy Elderton Command Shiraz 1996 94 Georgia's Paddock from Heathcote Jasper Hill last time we showed this wine at a vintage Aussie tasting with wines including Grange it was the wine of the night you know and that is why we do this tasting blind that's right we're going to throw an extra uh, 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 wrench in here into the works and we're going to do this blind why the heck not let's have a little fun with this let's uh, you know completely remove all of our beliefs about what the most expensive wines are because we've got some wines here that cost $50 and $30 a bottle including the last one the Kipe Syrah made by the great Bob Lindquist uh, good friends with Jim Clendenin. as a matter of fact they share the same facility and uh, check it out everything we are going to be drinking and hey just for fun I put all of the great uh, Northern Rhones that we have available in the store on this offering. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.